Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show us some more plunder that I have acquired here over the last little while. Got a lot of really cool stuff, uh, half price books coming through once again over the last little while. Um, actually, the first thing I got from there is a book. I know you don't see me show these often, but I picked up a Sebastian Bach's autobiography, 18 in Life on Skid Row. Uh, say what you will about the guy, whether you think he's arrogant or whatever, but uh, he's got a great voice. And I think the fact that he's a huge KISS fan, just like I am, is another reason I really like uh, like him. So I'm really looking forward to uh, reading up on that. And, of course, the uh, next thing I got is this killer shirt from the uh, Glorious Dead. This is a new design to go along with the uh, new EP that I got, which is the Imperator of the desiccated and uh, if you don't know this band really killer death metal band features Marty Worm of Bind Room Recordings and here on um, YouTube and uh, hopefully you can see it he actually signed this for me it says hey Ryan stay brutal Marty so yeah very cool thank you so much Marty for doing that for me and I love the color of this vinyl it comes in a beautiful green vinyl. I know I don't have a way right now to play my records, but I am working on a solution to that because I've got several that I really want to listen to, including this one. So one way or another, I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Next up, I got a new tape for the collection. This is uh, the Mythic Anthology. Really awesome doom death band, all female band that uh, Sadly, split up a while back. This uh, pretty much contains all the material that they ever put out. And I actually bought this directly from Dana Duffy, who is the vocalist of this band and who also now has a band uh, playing black metal, Demonic Christ. Really killer band. You should definitely be checking out. Um, their stuff is hard to find, but now that they are assigned to Hell's Headbangers, I'm really hoping they uh, reissue this stuff. Anyway, there's the uh, artwork. And since I ended up ordering this directly from Dana, she was cool enough to sign the inlay for me. So, very pleased with that. Thank you so much, Dana, if you happen to see this. I cannot wait to uh, give this a listen. I actually have the Anthology CD, but I had to have the tape when it became available. All right, on to the stuff from uh, Half Price Books. This first one was pretty pricey i mean for me anyway i think with taxes and everything it was like 32 dollars. and i know that sounds crazy to pay that for one cd but this album is apparently pretty hard to come by especially this original press and i've um, been really wanting to pick up some of this band stuff and that is molly hatchet with flirting with disaster yeah really happy to uh have this i mean i checked ebay i checked you know, any place I usually buy stuff, even use stuff, and they were all going to cost me about the same, and this one was right there in my hands. So I said, you know, to hell with it. Picked it up. And uh, also picked up another one. This is the uh, self-titled. And I've got to say, one thing I always loved about Molly Hatchet, because I've known about these guys for a long time, but it's only been in the last little while that I uh, have started listening to them, is that they've always had some of the most metal-looking album covers ever. I absolutely love it. Next up, Skid Row, Beside Ourselves, just a uh, collection of uh, B-sides and stuff, or some cover songs, so I'm really uh, looking forward to giving this little EP a uh, listen. They've got, uh, let's see, Psychotherapy, Come On and Love Me, which as soon as I saw that I knew it had to be a Kiss cover, uh, Delivering the Goods, What You're Doing, Little Wing, so yeah. And the only Skid Row material I really like or anything that has Sebastian Bach on it. I've not been really impressed with anything they've put out when he's not in the band. <laughs> this next one is one that, um, you know, I've been debating on getting this because I see this in there all the damn time. Any half price books I go to, I at least see one or two copies of this. And um, if I had to say, you know what the hell, I'm going to pull the trigger and I picked it up. P.O.D. Satellite. I mean, if this album cover alone does not scream 2001, I mean, come on. Um, but yeah, it has a lot of the songs I remember hearing, you know, back when I was, you know, I, I was out of school when this uh, was released. But I still remember a lot of these songs like um, 
boom as uh, a satellite I remember hearing and of course you know youth of the nation was the big hit uh, the only song I'm not really uh, particularly pleased with is track seven ridiculous I think that song is just very annoying <laughs> but other than that it's not too bad uh, this next these last four I should say let me get this off of here I actually just picked up today while I was out and uh, first up Cinderella still climbing um, I kind of debated on whether or not I wanted to get this or not because I'd like their more hair metal, I guess you could say, phase. But, um, yeah, this is actually really good hard rock with a little bit of a blues tinge to it, and I really enjoy that. So, very pleased. Listen to that on the way home. This one, I believe I have the reissue of this somewhere upstairs. came in a digipack from Metal Mind. And uh, if you know me, if I can find an original press, I'm going to pick it up. This is uh, Evil Dead with The Underworld. Really classic album cover right there. Uh, put out on uh, Steam Hammer. Very pleased to uh, find this. And for actually relatively decent price. I have not listened to these guys in a long ass time, but as soon as I saw this, I had to pick this up. Next up, Vault Wraith, Death is Proof of Satan's Power. I actually already have a copy of this, but it is an autograph pop, uh, uh, autographed copy signed by uh, Vanessa Nocera. Well, her last name is not Nocera now, but um, I don't even know, remember what her last name is. But yeah, Vanessa signed my copy of this because I bought it directly from her. So, of course, you know me. If I have a signed copy of something, i got to buy a replacement so I can take it out and about. So I found that in there. I thought, what the hell, I'll pick it up. Next up, Nocturnal Breed, Fields of Rot, a band that I've uh, only kind of become acquired, or acquainted with, I should say, over the last little while. So, of course, you know, wanting to get more of their stuff, I see this in there. No brainer, I'm picking that up. Okay, and the last four I actually picked up from uh, Landlocked Music. I got to go there here recently. You know, my mom was uh, off doing something, so I ran down there real quick and kind of looked around. Got a couple used ones in there. Uh, first is a uh, Atreyu with Congregation of the Damned. And I do not believe this is a full length. I could be wrong. Um, Atreyu is one of those bands that I've only, again, really started getting myself acquainted with them over the last little while. So I need to see. I can't tell if this is an EP or an album. There's a lot of tracks on here, so it could be an album, but I really don't know. <laughs> it's good, though, because I actually listened to it just the other day. Next up, Brutal Truth, Kill Trend, Suicide. Um, I do not believe I have this one. I've got all their full-length albums, but uh, this EP I do not believe I have. For some reason, I want to say that this was tacked on to the end of one of the CDs that I have, but I could be wrong. And of course, I had to pick up the new Slipknot, We Are Not Your Kind. Um, I've listened to it once, uh, sounded pretty good. I know a couple people have said that um, you know, after all the hype for this album, it just, you know, they're not really super thrilled with it. They kind of find it disappointing, but I don't know. I enjoyed it after the first spin, so we'll see what uh, repeated spins give me. And last but not least, I can finally say I have some material from this band. I've had a shirt that I got through uh, the Metalhead box, but I did not hit, uh, have any other albums, so now I finally do. Picked up the latest Tomb Mold with Planetary Clairvoyance. Again, I've only spun this one time, but it sounded absolutely killer. Love the uh, packaging on this one, especially the green on the inside. So, yeah, really looking forward to giving this some more listens. And, uh, yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.